Hi everyone, have you ever wondered how to use these handheld light meters? Well, you're in luck. This, this is the topic of this video. You probably have noticed that there is this sliding white sphere in front of the light meter. Well, this is for incident and reflective light metering. And we're gonna talk about this further in this video. But now, let's have a look at how they work specifically with reflective light metering. Okay, let's have a look at this one first. It's the Gossen Sextus. The way you do it, you put aside the light sphere and you literally point it in the same direction as your subject. Well, the same direction as your camera lens. And you can see here that the red row and the yellow indicator are moving when I turn the dial. And I try to center it and there we are. I will have to use, let's say, an aperture of 8 at 1 over 125 or an aperture of 11 at 1 over 60. That's the reciprocity law. Here you can set the ISO setting and obviously it has to match the one on your film. This other one is the Luna 6 tree. It's a little bit more complex but the procedure is exactly the same. So what you have to do is you have two buttons here. A rocker button. The first one is for the low light situation and you can see that the needle is already maxing out. So now I'm gonna use this one and it tells me to use something like 19. Okay, so I have to match on the dial and the yellow arrow the number 19. And I have to use an aperture of 11 at 1 over 125. And that's basically how these work. And well, when you are doing the measurement at the same time, you can definitely see that they tell you the same value. So both of these meters are correctly exposing. Incident light metering is somehow a little bit different. This time you measure the light hitting your subject. It's very useful if your subject is in front of a very dark or a very bright background. So the background is not gonna mess up the exposure. The way to do so is to slide up in front of the sensor, the lumisphere, and this time you point the light meter in the direction of your lens and you take your measurement like this. It's very precise and this time you know the exposure is not going to be messed up. And that's the basic of how to use a handheld light meter. I hope this video, although short, was somehow useful to you. and. I hope to see you again later on on this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later. Goodbye.